Uh, we here in Detroit. I don't know where you're watching this from, but I met Romeo. We were partying all night the other day at the works. And uh, uh, he's a personal trainer. If you if you part of my following, uh, he's a he's a personal development coach. Is that right? Yeah. So a self development coach. It's like life coach, motivational speaker. I go into different topics: relationships, success, career, figuring out your character so you can become a better person. No. The, the thing that hit me, we want to do a video together, and I say let's let's do something that'll really give them some value. I like to give my people a whole lot of value. I like to over deliver on value. And what I see people not doing enough of is uh, living life to the fullest right now in this moment. Exactly. So I say, what if you die tomorrow? What would you be doing right now? How would that change your the way you live? What would you regret that you didn't do in the past? See, something that's immediately coming to my mind, if you knew you had to die tomorrow, would you work all day and then work a double? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you question all the behaviors that you did today? Would you question the time wasted that you did in the past? What would you be doing? What actions will you change? Would you live your mentalities where you were do or die? Or would you still be sitting in your couch watching this video? Now, if you're sitting on your couch watching this video, that hit, that had to touch you right to the core of your soul. This is an entire planet. There's a whole world of stuff to do out here. You don't have to sit down and play video games all day. You can actually, me, my thing is leaving a legacy for my babies and for other people in my community that can't get to the levels that I was able to reach. So I'm always trying to put things in place that's going to be here long after I'm gone. So I'm not just a picture in a photo album. I'm on a portrait over somebody's fireplace, hopefully my son, uh, for all the things that I laid down for him to be able to live the life he's gonna live. Now that's one thing you need to lick, uh, think about. Are you gonna be another statistic for a state, for the United States? Or are you gonna make an impact? Are you gonna put your name on the ground where people know who you were and they'll remember you? Not your friends, not your family, nation, the people, the people you've changed and influenced. That's what matters. Everyone's born this earth to make an impact, to make a change and convey their passions. You have a passion and you have to find that passion. And everything that you do in a daily basis will tell you what your future looks like. You eating potato chips? Okay, now we went in the future and I like to blur lines just a little bit. Now, another topic we were thinking about discussing and I always like to talk about is the fact that most people don't have a future. Now, if you haven't sat down and designed, visualized what you want your future to look like, you don't have one. The only time uh, you're going to have a future that you didn't design is when you're part of somebody else's plan and their job for you, their whole picture of what you're going to do in the future is work for them to make them money. So unless you design your own future, somebody's trying to make you an employee. Somebody somewhere is thinking, this, this is a person out here that's not working, or it's a person that's working in his other job. Let's see if we can get him over here and get him to build the thing that's gonna make us some money so we can go live, have Bugattis and Lamborghinis and take vacations and have mansions and do all of the fly stuff that, you know, you should be doing in this life because you only get this life once. Uh, if you don't think about your future, they're gonna put you there, but you could just sit down and say, what do I wanna have for myself? Like, what kind of things would I like in this lifetime? You know, I want, um, this is the kind of car I like. This is the kind of house I like. This is the kind of cause I wanna champion it with my life. You know, and then you start designing these things. Once you gotta, once you build your future, it's like a destination on the GPS. It's, it's, it's mind blowing, but just stay with me for a second. Once you design what you really, 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 the core of your being, what you want to do, then all of a sudden the route is going to start to appear for you. It's just going to start opening up. If you're serious about having that future and you believe that you can have that, so you want to take time and really just visualize the future and then have faith that you could achieve that if you get your ass up off the couch. <laughs> exactly. The saying is finding your lane. You have to find your lane in life. Too many people have this blur, of it. they want to do this, they want to do that, but they don't know exactly what they want to do, and they don't know exactly what they want to look like in the future. What exactly do you want? Where do you want to live? What kind of car do you want? What kind of job do you want to do?
have to know exactly what you want. You need to organize yourself. If not, you are a blur. And you're just like everybody else that's in, stuck in the middle. They're stuck in the middle and they're just followers. They're sheeps in this world. You have to look above that. I say, if, if, if you look warm, you're not, you're not hot, you're not cold. If you look warm, he will spew you out of his mouth. So you can't be in the middle. You gotta pick one way. And I, and, and I implore you not to, pl not to pick employment for the rest of your life, because you know where that leads. You work until you old, then you barely got enough money to get around after that. You know, that's where if you stay in employment for your whole life. Now, another option is that you can work. You can take a piece of your money out of every check and you can put it to the side and you can start building a business with it. I don't care if it's selling socks, you start buying socks. You start trying to get the stock socks and put them in the stores and all those things. I'm out Shea Khan. Uh, and my thing is getting you to uh, live a different type of lifestyle. One where you're able to create the types of things that you desire for yourself. Where you got the means, you got the time, you got the opportunity, you can spend time with your family, you can feel a sense of, you can feel a sense of accomplishment at a job. So let me not say feel a sense of accomplishment, but when you become an entrepreneur, when you step outside of, um, what entrepreneurs look at employees as slaves. When you get really high up, they may not tell you, but I've been in a lot of circles. They look at employees as slaves. So slavery changed, and this is a new form of slavery. You in a plant, you in a plantation, you in a plant. You so I'm I'm pushing entrepreneurship on you. Get up, start doing something. I don't care if, if you're buying something from the dollar store and you're selling it for three dollars. Uh, it's volume, and you start making money. You got money in your pocket. You go to work. You make. I I got a challenge for you guys, and I want you guys to respond at the bottom of this video. The challenge is. How can you take $10 and turn it into $100? I want to see the answers at the bottom of this video. How do you take $10 and turn it into $100? Now that's difficult for most working people to figure out. But if you can figure that out, that's powerful and other people are going to need to see that. So put that at the bottom of the video. It's all about thinking outside the box. Working with what you have now. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what possession you're from. If you have the hustle and drive to think outside the box and then commit to it for long term, you will be surprised what you can come upon. You don't want to cut yourself short, but you don't want to be comfortable. Too many people are comfortable when they live in these excuses. Of course, you may have a family. You may not have a family. If you don't have a family, you're the fortunate one. and You need to take action. You're the person that has the most opportunity. Even if you do got a family, even if you got some debt, don't use that as an excuse. Don't use that as a reason for you to be stuck in employment, working at McDonald's. I got a testimonial. It was a lady. Um, she had her parents died. She had to take care of her whole family. Uh, she was working and she was taking care of her siblings. And I think she got laid off or whatever. I don't know. That's not the key point of the story. The key point of the story, she was working and she couldn't work because she was out of that job. And she had a family to take care of. She took her family and went door to door selling her products. And this lady's name is Mary Kate. So that's the, that's the extent you can do with the family. You know, when you don't have a family, you got wide open range. When you got a family, it's still ways. They call it, uh, uh, they, they had one lady who used to write books. She would write at the edges of the day. So anytime she got a free time, she would be writing in her thing in the morning. Uh, in between the breaks, she writing in her thing. At the end of the night, she writing in her thing. Next thing you know, she got a product done. Uh, they, she got a, a publisher to put her book out. Now she's a famous author and she's doing wonderful. So it's a lot of things and a lot of ways you can work around having a family. So don't you ever try to use that as an excuse. Bro. Come through there. Yeah. <laughs> you can use your family as a benefit for you. You guys can collaborate. You and your wife, you and your kids, and you can use them as a foundation, as a team to build. There's so many people out there that have built a restaurant, they have their own business, and it's family, it's family run, uh, run. They run it with their family. Mm -hmm. And you can do this, you can always do this. Oh, something, another really big thing about having a family, especially if you got kids, you never have to do anything you want to, you don't want to do, because you go, oh man, I got this with my my child, so I can't can't do it. <laughs> just, just something from me to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, even if you have a child, what would you do still if you were to die tomorrow? Yeah. And you still have that child, what would you do? Man, they out there by themselves, what would they do without you? What are you gonna do to support your family? 
What are you gonna do for you to be happy? Like he said before, you only got one life and every decision that you make dictates how happy you're gonna be in the end when you're 60 and 50 and you can't even, you got no energy, you in the crutches and you can't even move. Right now is the time to act. No, don't wait till next week. Don't wait till tomorrow. You need to act right now. What are you doing at this instant that's benefiting you? You watching this video? You know what? This video is beneficial, but what are you doing after this video? What are you doing? Are you thinking outside the box? What are the little things that you're doing? They come in, they come in to answer my question. $10 to $100, you do that, and that's gonna give you an idea of what you could be doing. Exactly. <laughs> it's all about right thinking there. outside the system. Too many people are stuck in the system where they're logically like, well, I only got $10. That don't make sense. That means I can't buy anything. You gotta think outside the box. There's so many things you can do with $10. Especially in this day and age, there is more opportunity. This is the entrepreneurship age. It literally is. You got free promotion for all that you do. You have the internet. You have Facebook, Twitter. You have all these social media that you can do. And now you can pay those social media companies to promote your stuff. It doesn't even have to be about that. What are you passionate about? You would have died tomorrow. What would you wish you did? today all right now before we sign off i just want to give a quick disclaimer we're not insurance salesmen you know what i mean so when we asking you well you know that question that's usually insurance question. no seriously we're trying to spur you to think about life in a different way can i sign out is we signing out here i'm out that's here good. Yay. thanks for watching